one of this year's breakout independent movies is Britney Runs a Marathon, which Amazon bought for $14 million after a bidding war. Described by Variety as a whip-smart comedy with real emotional depth, it won the Audience Award in the U.S. Dramatic category at Sundance this year. Jillian Bell stars as Britney, a 20-something New Yorker who tries to get her life together by taking up running after a rude awakening at the doctor's office. What brings you in today? Uh, I have a hard time focusing. Mm. You get enough sleep every night? How much is enough? Six to eight hours. Oh, way more than that. <laughs> That's not the problem. <laughs> uh, but I had a friend who was also just very out of it, and she was prescribed, um, what is it, Adderall? And now she's very alert. You know, some people abuse Adderall for recreational purposes. What? Yeah. That's crazy. It's true. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Well, I do. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> what? Jillian Bell is also an executive producer on the movie. Jillian, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for Welcome. having me Thanks here. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Congratulations so on the film. But when you first read, like, the first ten pages of the script... You weren't so sure you wanted to play this role. No, I was terrified. My manager sent it to me, and she said, the first 10 pages, you're going to think, oh, this is a little scary. This might feel a little too uh, real for you. But I think just keep reading because the script is beautiful, and it's got a great message, and I fell in love with it. I was crying. I was laughing. And when I finished, I, I sort of thought, oh, I I want to play her desperately, yes. and I hope they'll let me. I'll be very protective of her. The next line after the doctor, he says, and oh, by the way, you need to lose 55 pounds. Oh, and, right. and Brittany says, so yeah. you want me to lose a small Siberian husky off of my body? <laughs> yes. I mean, and there's great scenes in the movie with her getting on the scale, you getting on the scale. You actually lost weight for them, or did you actually lose weight for the movie? I did. I lost 40 pounds. I There were parts of the script... Uh, that I couldn't quite connect to because I hadn't experienced it myself. And I thought, well, I obviously have to start running. There's a lot of running in this film. And Had you uh, been a runner? No. Not a runner by nature, uh, but I decided... <laughs> Your roommate said, I'm a runner. I have two legs. Everyone can yes. be a runner. They have yes. two legs. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, for me, it was it was a new experience. But I decided I wanted to sort of take on the physical journey because I thought it would connect me to the character more. Mm -hmm. So speaking of the character, this is based on a real person, a real Brittany. Uh, yes. Has she seen it? And if so, how did she react? She's seen it. She's been involved since the beginning. Uh, it's basically a love letter to her from um, Paul Downs Calazzo, the writer-director. It's, it's his best friend. It's his best friend yeah. and he just wrote this movie he was so inspired by her um it was loosely based on her life story and so yeah she was involved in obviously seeing different drafts of it and then coming and seeing us shoot and and seeing different edits and it's called britney runs a marathon but it's so much more than running it's so much more than a movie about running about yes. losing weight britney went through a transformation can you talk a little bit about her transformation and did you go through a transformation doing this movie i definitely did so? i i felt like it would either be something that was very therapeutic or i would spiral out i was hoping more <laughs> for the first uh -huh. and uh and it it made me examine the way i thought about myself yeah. how you thought about yourself how, about, how i thought about myself and how i talked about myself you know uh, sometimes always making the first joke hoping that someone else wouldn't say something hurtful and and it just made me think you know i'm i, I deserve better than that and britney deserves better than that and did you make, she goes did, through that journey did it make you want to run a marathon no <laughs> Yeah. So you're not no, currently a runner. No, uh, no, I do enjoy running, but there's a difference between running a couple of miles and running 26.2 miles. I love when you, you, you actually <laughs> shot this at the New York City Marathon. We did get to shoot there. We were the first film crew that got to shoot there. And people thought it was a documentary. They thought you I were think, really running it. I think they thought I was really running, and if anyone was trying to, like, help me along dur during parts, I didn't want to tell them, oh, no. no, I'm acting. There's a makeup artist over here. Uh, <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, no. No, I thought it was so sweet. It was such an inspiring thing to be around those and, runners. And she also has some moments where she's just really not a nice person. Yeah, yeah I think that's Yeah, important. I think that's interesting. I too. think it's great because normally... But I liked her, even when she was just Well, you good. hope to. I think yeah. that's... But Paul did a beautiful job of just making a very layered human being. Usually, my character in this movie 
kind of plays a sidekick and comes in yes. and encourages the lead and then says a funny line and leaves and and this is a different kind of story. We've got to let her go to her morning run, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jillian Bell, thank, thank you very you much so for being here. It must be it. nice to have a bidding war, though, in Sunday. Yeah. That's got to be not a bad. It's a little it was not bad. <laughs> Madam Executive Producer, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> Brittany Runs the Marathon will be available in select theaters August 23rd.